make this bow, I'm using a lightweight three yarn and also a 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. You can use whichever yarn you'd like and the size of hook um, suitable for that yarn. All right, so to begin, we're going to start off with the magic ring. I have directions on how to do a magic ring for that linked in the description box below if you want to check out how to do it in more detail. In our magic ring, we're going to start off with chaining five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five chains. Then you're going to put in three triple crochets. So triple crochet is going to be yarn over two times. Insert your hook into the magic ring, pull a loop out, go through the first two loops, go through the second uh, two here, and go through the last two. That's one triple crochet. I'm going to do it two more times. Loop twice, insert your hook into the um, ring, pull out a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, Yarn over, go through another two, and yarn over, go through the last two. One more time, two loops, insert your hook into the magic ring, pull out, yarn over, pull through both loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you're going to chain five, that was one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch into the magic ring here. Then you're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to insert three triple crochets in um, this side as well. So go into, I'm doing it a little faster this time. Go into the ring to insert your triple crochet. After you have three triple crochets, we're going to um, chain five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch into the same um, magic ring area. Like so. When you're done, you're gonna notice that you have this weird floppy thing. Here's where the magic ring comes to play. You're going to take one end, uh, the yarn end that you started with, and pull tight. As you pull tight, you'll notice your ring close, and you get this nice little bow shape. Now, you're going to cut off a long tail for this um, bow. I recommend cutting off at least uh, 15 inches. Okay, and we're gonna, um, after you fasten off with a long tail, you are going to take that long tail and basically wrap it around the center of your bow. So you're pulling it around like so. Once you're happy with how the center of your bow looks, you can go ahead and knot it at the back. And there you have it. You have your little bow done. You can use it as a cute little applique to put onto your amigurumi doll, or you can use it for a headband, a hair accessory, etc. All right. Thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy this little mini tutorial. Bye now.